Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting off with the Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. And I'm just applying that all over my skin and of course on my neck. And I'm fanning my face just to make sure that moisturizer is set before I apply my primer on top. And for primer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. And I'm just applying that mainly in my T-zone. And then I'm going in with my favorite foundation in the world. The the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I'm in the shade 370 and I'm going in with the Sigma F88 brush. If you're interested in trying out some Sigma brushes or any Sigma makeup, I'll have the link down in the description box as well as my coupon code Taylor Anise. Now we're moving into highlighting and contouring. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealers. The highlighting concealer I'm using in the shade Medium Dark Neutral. And then for the contour shade, I'm using deep neutral. I posted a picture on my Instagram swatching all of the Urban Decay All Nighter concealers and I saw people commenting and saying that none of the concealers would work for them. I actually like to use concealers for highlighting and contouring like I'm showing you here. I know it can be a little frustrating when companies don't make a wider range of concealers but I urge you to you know think of it differently and try using them as highlighting and contouring shades. So I'm just blending in the highlighting shade because I like to do that last on my chin just because sometimes the contour cream overpowers it. Now I'm setting all of the areas that I used the highlighting concealer on and I'm actually using the CoverGirl Loose Powder in the shade Translucent Medium. It's a really, really nice setting powder and it's inexpensive. You can get it at Ulta, Walgreens, CVS, places like that. And it gives a really nice soft matte finish. Now I'm setting on top of that concealer I used to kind of contour or bronze really on my cheeks just because it was a bit more pigmented than I expected so I'm just setting on top of it to tone it down. Now I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just really doing a more natural brow today. I'm not outlining the top and outlining the bottom and filling in the center. I'm really just filling in my brows just making them a bit darker. Now I'm using whatever was left over on the brush that I used to set my concealer and just setting my eyelids because I did bring some of my foundation onto my eyelids to prime. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and that brush that I'm waving around, I'm using that in my crease. That is the Sigma E40 brush and I'm taking the shades Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and this is how much of the color I applied in my crease. Then with a more flat blending brush, the Sigma E25. I'm taking red ochre, which pretty much matches my shirt. And I'm using that on the outer corners of my eye and I'm placing it first. And then I'm going to go back in with the Sigma E40 to blend out the edges. So I'm making sure to really just pack on that red ochre because I know when I go in with my bigger blending brush, the E40, I'm going to blend away a lot of the edges. So I want to make sure that I have that color still on my my eyelid. So here's the eye look after those two steps. On the left are the transition colors that we added and on the right is after the red ochre shadow was added. Next, I'm going in with the MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadow. It's a really pretty shadow. It's in the shade Stylishly Merry. It was in the Snowball Collection, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but it's super pretty. It has a pink gold shift to it, and I'm just applying that with my finger to make sure that I get the most pigmentation from the shadow. And I like to apply my shimmer shadows just a little bit above the crease, just so the eyeshadow is still visible when I open my eyes. Now I'm going back in with the red ochre shadow and just blending that on the edges of that shimmer shadow with a Sigma domed utility brush I'm taking the shade Cypress umber from the modern Renaissance palette and just blending that in the outer corners and on my lash line for lashes I'm using the Christina lashes in the style WSP they were recommended by Carly Bible and you can get these on Amazon the way I like to apply my lashes are with tweezers I have a full detailed video on how to apply 
lashes if you want to check it out it will be down in the description box now I'm applying some mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal lash paradise mascara just applying a coat on my bottom and top lashes but I'm keeping the mascara that I'm putting on my top lashes just on my lashes because I want to be able to wear the false lashes a few more times now for blush I'm using this one from thrive cosmetics and it smells really good it's in the shade rosy for highlight I'm using the makeup forever pro light fusion in the shade number two and last but not least I'm using the Fenty Beauty Stana matte lip paint it is so 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 pretty it's one of the first or I think it's the second time I've ever used a red lip color without a lip liner and it came out really pretty I was happy right there and now I'm spraying my face with the Mario Badescu rose water facial spray and then just darkening up my brows again with the same brow pencil and setting them with max brow gel Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.